Hey everyone, this is Peter with CareRace.net and this is going to be one video out of a series of 10 videos detailing different keyboards available for the Android operating system. In front of me you'll see a Verizon Samsung Fascinate running Android 2.1 and in this video I'm going to be showing you the stock keyboard on Android. Um, again, the first couple of minutes on the, all these videos are going to be the basic features of each keyboard kind of outlining um, what it's like to just start it up for the first time and just use it and then the last part of the videos are going to be more of the advanced features like the shortcuts, the settings um, and everything like that. So let's jump into this so you can kind of see. Again, settings, you don't really have to do this the first time but I'll just kind of show you. You go into your settings then language and keyboard to find um, the Android keyboard settings. So that's where you can do it. You don't need to have it activated as other keyboards you do um, only because it's built in so it's good to go right out of the box. So first let's go to our messaging and then let's change our input method. So let's go up to our Android keyboard. Again most of them will kind of drop down. Here let me refocus this real fast because it's getting kind of blurry the farther I get away. Perfect. Okay so we go in and this is the stock layout. Again, very basic, very simple. It has word prediction in that bar on the bottom once you start typing. It's like all the other movies that start typing out dinner in a movie tonight. So again, dinner is already right there. I can push the space to automatically insert it and put a space afterwards. Dinner and... Again, as soon as I see my word, I can go in and I can click it and it'll automatically insert a space afterwards and then we'll do our tonight right there and again I could have gone back and I could have typed this out to there we go so see tonight is highlighted orange I haven't finished the actual word yet and I can go into my numbers do a question mark and it automatically inserts the word that was highlighted in orange there and then puts the punctuation that I put afterwards. So, again, really basic features. Here's the ABC layout. Again, you push one, two, three to get into your numbers and symbols. You can push Alt to get into even more numbers and symbols. You can do like three dots, that kind of stuff. Again, has a lot of different options here. Go back to your ABC. You push Shift once to shift all your letters. Push Shift twice to engage caps locks as you would normally um, see on any computer keyboard. And then again, your Android 2.1 is going to have speech to text. So let's try that out real fast. Select all, let's just delete that, let's get rid of that. And let's see if this goes. Again, this is on Wi-Fi. So yeah, it's experimental, blah, blah, blah. Dinner and a movie tonight. All right, let's just give it a second to work. It's on Wi-Fi right now, so again, your um, ability to do this is going to be dependent on your internet settings. So, see, couldn't connect. Let's try one more time and then give up. Dinner and a movie tonight? Come on, Wi-Fi. Sorry, we're in a different room right now, so it's not getting the best. All right, so there we go. So, again, it inserts the entire phrase for you. If you push back, it deletes it all. So, if you want to be able to edit that, I recommend doing a punctuation or a space. See, and then it gives you also kind of hint. So next time, try speaking punctuation like period, comma, or question mark. Um, so why don't we give that a go real fast, just to kind of give you an idea of how that works. So select all, and we'll go back to our ABC. Dinner and a movie tonight, question mark. on Wi-Fi. Alright, so as you can see perfectly uh, with perfect punctuation um, capitalized at the beginning. Not all uh, instances are going to be like this as that was a very basic sentence um, but it is getting better as the technology progresses and from here on out, you're only going to see more and more applications using that speech-to-text kind of function. So, again, this ends the basic demonstration. Now we're going to get into the settings. So if you want to stick around, uh, we'll jump into that. Otherwise, check out one of our other videos to see what keyboard is going to best fit you in your Android experience. So, heading back to our homepage, we're going to go into our settings. 
Android keyboard settings. So again, the Android keyboard is gonna have very basic features, you know, vibrate, sound on key press, auto capitalization, voice input, quick fixes, again, just kind of changes two letters around if you inserted them in the wrong sequence. Show suggestions, that's that bar with the gray words and the orange one is the most likely word that you're typing. And then autocomplete. That is the feature where if you push spacebar or question mark while a word is highlighted in orange, it will automatically insert that word um, into your input bar. So again, this is the standard stock 2.1 keyboard running on a Verizon Samsung Fascinate. Uh, check out our article for the other nine keyboards and kind of a rundown of if depending on what kind of user you are, what keyboard we recommend for you. And stay tuned in for our browser face-off article, also getting kind of a facelift over the next week. And definitely make sure to check out at least one of these keyboards that we're detailing in our videos today, only because it can only add and make your Android experience that much better. So thanks again for tuning in, and check out the full article on www.carace.net. Thanks.